Sam Phillips from R Marine Jones, the Riviera dealership based at the factory on the Gold Coast. And today I'm going to show you one of the absolute perks of the job. And that's doing a delivery on a world class motor yacht, pitch a perfect day, sunrise behind us. It doesn't get any better than this. It's just clocked 4.30. I've left Riviera and Coomera on the Gold Coast. I'm on board a 445 SUV that's just been sold and I'm delivering it to Mooloolaba today. We've got absolutely perfect conditions and I'm going to take you along for the ride and show you what goes on when we do a delivery and a handover to some very excited new ones. As we head out of the Coomera River, it's approximately uh, one hour at six knots uh, of cruising before we can get up on the plane. Now is the time to make sure all my electronics are set up uh, for the trip ahead. I've got my chart plotter on my Garmin glass bridge on the right hand screen and as you can see it's leaving a black and white dotted line. That's the track mark that I'll leave for the whole trip today. On my left screen there we've got the depth sounder showing my depth very clearly and then across the top of both screens I've got all my engine data, my trim assist, uh, Volvo interceptors, fuel data, everything you need to see when you're doing a trip like this. My Volvo Penta uh, screen, this is what I put my autopilot on. Uh, I will use it a fair bit on a trip like today, but it doesn't necessarily need to be on my main screen. This controller here is for my Seakeeper M6 gyro stabilizer. At the moment it's spooling up to get to about eight or 9,000 revs per minute, so then it is ready to be active when needed. It's very important to get this spooling up nice and early because it can take 30 to 40 minutes. And if it is rough out there, you don't want to be worrying about spooling it up um, when you really need it. Getting away nice and early not only means you get beautiful conditions, but it also means there's very minimal traffic on the broad water. So after the hour long journey at six knots out the Cooma River, we get to Sovereign Islands, we're up on the plane and we can get moving and start making some ground. It's now just gone six o'clock. I've just passed VMR Jacobs Well, uh, which is right next door to Calypso Bay Marina where we have lots of our owners uh, store their boats there. It's a great little spot. I'm just cruising at six knots now as we keep coming north uh, past Horizon Shores Marina and Steglitz. And then after that, we're nearly on the plane all the way into Morton Bay. So now is probably a good opportunity to have a chat about the engines in this boat and the fuel economy. So this 445 SUV is powered by Volvo Penta IPS 600s, which means they're 435 horsepower each. Now at about 24 to 25 knots, we'll be burning about 130 to 135 litres an hour, which works out to about five to six litres per nautical mile, which is very fuel efficient for this size boat. are in the southern part of Moreton Bay. We have Coochie Mudlow Island on the port side and then Peel Island further up uh, in front of that one. This is always a good part of the trip. The six knot areas have now finished. We're up on the plane comfortably cruising at 25 knots and it's smooth sailing all the way through to Mooloolaba. Now that we're in Moreton Bay and a little bit more open water, I've engaged an autopilot route on my Garmin glass bridge screens and that'll take me on the western side of Peel Island across Moreton Bay over to Tangaluma and then through to Malulba to finish off. Now as you can see behind me, it's an absolute glass out over here at Morton Bay. We're, uh, we're just pulling into Tangaluma, have a bit of a look there. sailboats in here at anchor which is very rare for weather conditions like this. Now the reason why I've done this trip into Tangaluma here and if you can see it on the screens here 
I'm actually leaving a black and white track behind me uh, as the little boat there. So when this young family decide to go boating over Christmas, they'll actually be able to follow this track from Lulaba right down inside Tangaluma. Now Tangaluma over on Morton Island is just one of those anchorages. No matter how many times you come here and drop anchor, it just takes your breath away. You've got the shipwrecks over here just behind me that you can snorkel and swim around, and you've got the beach just there. You have people going back and forth all the time, so you need to be careful when you're coming in here and dropping anchor, and it does get very busy in peak season. But on a day like today, it's really hard to pick up the anchor and leave. from Malula Bar. It's just clocked over 10.30. We're rounding the point now and heading for Malula Bar Seaway. enjoyed watching this video of a Riviera 445 SUV delivery from the Riviera factory in Coomera on the Gold Coast to a new home in Mooloola Bar. Uh, we went through the inside of Jacobs Well across Morton Bay to Tangaluma and then out along Bribey Island, Caloundra and around Point Cartwright into the Mooloola Bar Seaway. It's been a great day, I hope you've enjoyed it. So I'm in here safely at Malula Bar Marina. I'm all tied up, I've given the boat a wash down and a chamois, making it look as good as it did when it left the factory. Let's have a bit of a walk through this boat before the owners arrive. arrived and they're about to walk down the dock and have a look at their new boat. This is where I'm going to sign off from the video and sign on for my handover where I'll teach them all the operations of the boat and the switches, I'll teach them how to drive it and we'll even go for a run in it. I hope you've enjoyed this video, a little bit of an insight into a delivery and a handover of a Riviera 445 SUV. My name's Sam Phillips from R Marine Jones, the Riviera dealership based at Coomera on the Gold Coast and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.